and we're live. <laughs> Dude, did you guys see that YouTube was removing the dislike button? I did see that. Mine's the still there, but according to Reddit, they announced they're removing it, and some people, I guess, feel like it's gone again. That's so stupid. Like, uh, removing the dislike, it first of all, why is it stupid? If, I'm open. I'm open yeah, to the idea. You, you want to watch a video like I do on YouTube, which is like animals fighting or people fighting or someone getting hit by a car. You know immediately when you click on a video and the dislike is half the bar. Okay, mm -hmm. this piece of shit is going to be playing loud, royalty-free house Russian music while there's like still pictures and no action shots. And so immediately, you know, get out of here. Oh, animals fighting? Oh, ratings are horrible. I know this is just clickbait. Like, not to mention yeah, like... Yeah, clickbait, it, it, clickbait is mm -hmm. one dislike bar will be, you know out of sync but or if you're trying you're to find a good to. version of something like if you're looking True. for like that I'm, i want to see that scene from tombstone where he slaps billy bob thornton and there's like five of them and and like the one with all the dislikes is probably the one that's all fuzzy or they cut it yeah. wrong or edited it wrong like or, or they added some fucking hip-hop music or some shit or if something is on the spectrum of being a scam or oh, yeah. just mm -hmm. like untrue or dishonest it can get disliked a lot yeah. yeah, and I mean, like, <laughs> it, it basically it just makes it harder to find quality content on YouTube for normal people. And it's like, why why the fuck get rid of the dislike? Remember who, who when cares? they remember when they took the dislike button off of Netflix? Yeah, yeah. didn't they do that because of like Amy Schumer's Wait. special? They, they, they had star. They had, <laughs> what? It, it wasn't a dislike button. It was a it was a it was like a four star rating system, mm -hmm. maybe yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. And um, but it was really good about curating selections individually. I thought I always found that like. All right, I let this motherfucker know that I don't want to see any more rom coms on my yeah. Netflix. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now it's like, did you love the rom com? No. See you later. <laughs> Wait, you don't want any more information? Not a bit. Wait, don't suggest <laughs> it to me later. Ah, oh, they suggested it to me later. <laughs> it, How did he like yeah, the rom com? I, I well, like he doesn't hate it. Because <laughs> <laughs> we didn't give him an option to hate to it. To me, it's like we went from a one through five system that let you tell me what you liked to, you know what? I think it's better if I tell you what you should watch and then mm -hmm. they can just push the right stuff and not really have like ratios to share. Netflix but they're pushing stuff that really isn't hard. Good. Well, the, uh, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, Netflix is trying to transition as much as possible. And they've been, this isn't new. Mm -hmm. They've been doing it for half a decade more to transition to their own programming, right? Uh, things yeah, that yeah, they yeah, own. Yeah. Because because of how expensive it is to get Seinfeld. I think they just spent another half billion dollars to get Seinfeld through 2026. And I mean, how how much could you have developed with half a billion dollars? Uh, you, you know, like, like, Jesus Christ, that's like. A lot of that's, Netflix. That's content, to do anything. A lot of Netflix lot. content. It feels like they're almost trying to fill a catalog more than it is like make something independently good. I hope that that evolves. You know, it's like, all right, we don't have a lot of content now. We're Netflix. We're a fairly new company. First, let's build a catalog and then let's start cultivating greatness. <laughs>